And you, grey had now become the most popular colour, as once again the old enemy Sunderland had to be faced. But you don't lose a gift, as Tony Green reminded everyone. Stuart Barraclough had just stepped out of a time capsule, streaking away like some young apprentice before giving Jim Montgomery no chance. <laughs> Not every general could last a full campaign, but Monty still relished the battle. That was Pop Robson denied. Then the double save specialist was too good for Tony Green. Sunderland showed no sense of respect and scored twice, but Dave Hilly set up Robson to make sure old rivalries could rest in peace. Then clear the stage for the great man, Kevin Keegan, Newcastle's most famous signing ever, stepped out for an encore that's taken five years to prompt. And all for one of the lads in the chorus, Kenny Wharton, for ten years a supporting actor who's helped the stars deliver their lines. Top of the bill names like Paul Gascoigne were determined to put on a show. London audiences like Spurs have always wanted someone a bit flash. But the lads in provincial rep like Gary Pallister know a step or two. He swept forward to find Paul Walsh, then carried on his search for fame, getting on the end of the cross, but leaving Chris Waddle to take the final applause. But Newcastle wanted to share in the entertainment too. A touch of farce, a Peter Shilton header, then drama by Frank Bingle. Level at half-time, but had it all made up, Kevin yearned for the spotlights again. I don't miss it, but uh, obviously I've got a lot of great memories of this place. Something very special to me, end of my career here. And uh, I'm enjoying it. But no, it was my decision to quit. Uh, you can't go on forever. Uh, I wish I'd have trained a bit harder for this. I'm, uh, I don't know where I'm breathing from, but it's certainly not through my mouth. <laughs> Second half and Mirandini is well out of order, nutmegging special K, and the referee was worse. A foul by Keegan. Then a run and perfect pass from Gary Pallister, and Chris Waddle was off like Ben Johnson on the magic pills. I don't think he even noticed Tommy Wright, and he couldn't resist signing off with a flourish. Fifteen minutes left, and Super Kev decided enough was enough, apart from a farewell swipe at United. This club should be buying players like Gascoigne and Beardsley, not selling them. If you sell pl class players like that, you can't keep producing them from out the bushes, you know. Great areas it is for looking for talent and that, and maybe great scouting system you have. Great players don't come along very often. Been very privileged here. They've had four or five in the last five years, but they've sold them all. You've got a nice stand, but it's no, this won't look very good in the third division, will it? Let's hope, he doesn't, let's hope he doesn't go to that, for God's sake. No, but I'm saying, you know, stands don't win football matches. They don't score goals, and they don't pull people in. It just means that when you've got a team good enough to pull them in, it's nice to put them in something like this. But you've, you can't neglect your team. I don't want them to go in the second division. I know how hard we worked to get them into the first. And I, if the lads think it's hard to stay in the first division, then they're going to be in for a shock next year if they go down to see how hard it is to get out the second. It's tough. And it might not come to that if Mirandinha can keep his goal-scoring touch and complete Kenny Wharton's testimonial season. Newcastle got to stay in the first division. I think, the, by the way, the supporters turn out tonight, 21,000. I mean, that proves that they've got to be first division. There's not many clubs in the first division will get there. I look at them tonight, and they've got some very useful players out there. And the fans have got to be patient with, with the players and give them a chance to go out there and keep them in the first division. Having done that, next year's another year, you know, it could be... They could just as easily be in top six next year as bottom six, because the first division is very little difference between the top, you know, take away Liverpool's and the Everton's maybe, and the Arsenal's. I mean, if you're telling me Newcastle aren't as good as Wimbledon, well, I'll eat my 